Seven years after the 2017 military crackdown in Myanmar, Rohingya refugees say life isn't much better in Bangladesh. Violence, trafficking and drug crimes are rife and children are forced into marriage. Flimsy shelters offer little protection from extreme weather and food rations have been cut due to funding shortfalls at humanitarian agencies. No education, no. There is a lack of education, proper health care, essential facilities or any means of making a living here. When people are trapped for long periods without a future, dreams or hope, it is only natural that some get involved in crime and other illegal activities. The international community should take steps to resolve this crisis. Rights groups say Rohingya also face frequent harassment, torture, extortion and unlawful detention by special police units. More than a million Rohingya live in what is now the world's largest refugee camp, but they face new insecurities inside as rival groups battle for dominance. Children make up more than half of the population in Cox's Bazar, and every year another 30,000 are born into this uncertain life. Without access to formal education, fears of a lost generation are growing. Ramida Cotton fled to Bangladesh in 2017. She has four children, three of whom were born in the camp. I am worried about my children. How can I help and support their education? There is no access to formal schooling. I don't know what will happen to them in the future. The latest conflict between rebels and Myanmar's military government has forced more Rohingya from their homes. Some of the young people now believe that freedom and the right to return can only be achieved through armed struggle. The Al Jazeera team was able to meet one of the activists in a secret location. Many in the younger generation now believe in armed struggle against the Myanmar government. We see it as the only way to gain freedom and return to the homeland. We will keep fighting until we get our rights back. The UN says Myanmar isn't ready to take back Rohingya. It also acknowledges Bangladesh is grappling with the complexities of managing more than a million refugees. This leaves many Rohingya frustrated as they have little control or say over their future and depend on others' decisions. Tanvi Chaudhary, Al Jazeera, Cox's Bazar, Bangladesh. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.